The orcs have come to Earth and they clash among themselves. Draenor, the homeworld of the orcs, is being torn apart by a mysterious force known as Fell Magic. Gul'dan, a powerful orc warlock, unites the orc clans and forms the Horde and creates a portal to the world of Azeroth. The orcs begin to use feel magic to drain the life out of captive Drain A in order to sustain the portal. Once it is operational, Gul'dan leads a small warband to capture prisoners on Azeroth despite their doubts. Duratan, the chieftain of the Frostwolf clan, his pregnant mate Draca, and his friend Orgrim Doomhammer join this initial warband. While crossing through the portal, Draca goes into labor. When the orcs arrive on Azeroth, Gul'dan assists Draca with giving birth, but the baby is stillborn. Gul'dan then drains the life out of a nearby deer to revive and infuse fell magic into the baby, which Duratan later names Goel. The orcs raid several settlements throughout Azeroth. Anduin Lothar, the military commander of the human forces in the Stormwind Kingdom, looks over some of the men that were killed and finds a trespassing mage named Khadgar who explains that he was investigating the dead bodies because they contained traces of feel magic. Cadgar persuades Stormwind's king, Lane Wren, to consult Medivh, the renowned guardian of Tyrus Fall, and Lane sends Anduin and Cadgar to Medivh's stronghold, Karajan, to inform him of the feel magic's presence on Azeroth. In the Karajan library, a ghostly shadow leads Cadgar to a mysterious book, which he takes. Anduin, Cadgar and Medivh join a scouting team following traces of fell magic but are ambushed by orcs. Medivh uses a spell to kill the feel corrupted orcs, leaving the Horde's warchief, Blackhand, to flee along with Duratan and Orgrim. Cadgar restrains a half orc slave, Garona, and the soldiers take her prisoner. Garona tells Medivh that a dark demon showed Gul'dan the path to Azeroth. King Lane frees Garona in exchange for loyalty to Stormwind, and she leads the humans to spy on the orc camp, where they learn of Gul'dan's plan to bring the Horde to Azeroth. Meanwhile, Duratan realizes that the feel magic is responsible for the destruction of Draenor, and if Gul'dan is not thwarted, Azeroth will suffer the same fate. Despite Orgrim's objections, Duratan invites Lane to a secret meeting so that the Frostwolf clan and the humans can unite to defeat Gul'dan. While studying the book he took from Karajan, Cadgar learns that Gul'dan could not have opened the portal on his own. He had help from someone on Azeroth. He is confronted by Medivh, who burns Cadgar's research when Cadgar offers to help him with his work. Both Anduin and Cadgar suspect that Medivh was the one who opened the portal gates for orcs on the Azeroth side. The Frostwolf clan meets with the humans to negotiate an alliance, but the group is ambushed by Blackhand. As the humans retreat, Medivh forms a magical barrier to protect them, but Lothar's son Kallan is separated from the rest of the group and killed by Blackhand. Medivh is severely weakened, and Garona and Cadgar take him back to Karajan to recover. After noticing Medivh's eyes shine green, showing that he is infected by feel magic, Cadgar returns to his former home, Dalaran, to seek help from the Kirin Tor, the authority of human and high elven mages. The Kirin Tor facilitate a meeting with Elodi, revealed to be the shadow who led Cadgar to the book. She confirms that Medivh has indeed been corrupted by feel magic and possessed by an unknown demon. At the Orc camp, Blackhand purges the Frostwolf clan. Orgrim helps Draca to escape, and she sends Goel down a river in a basket, but is then found and killed by another Orc. Duratan challenges Gul'dan to Mac Gora a traditional orcish duel to the death for leadership of a clan, in this case, all of the orcs. During the fight, Gul'dan violates the honorable combat rules by draining the life out of Duratan with his magic, killing him and earning the disapproval of the orcs watching, and he empowers Blackhand with the same magic. Medivh, now in a half-demonic state, starts to open the portal to Draenor, and Gul'dan sacrifices the captured human villagers to allow the rest of the Horde to enter Azeroth. Lane leads the human army in an assault on the Orc camp, while Anduin and Cadgar fight Medivh 
and destroy the demon that had begun to manifest on the outside. Medivh is left mortally wounded and uses the last of his strength to close the portal to Draenor and instead open a portal to Stormwind, allowing Lane to evacuate most of the freed prisoners. When Medivh eventually dies, the portal closes, leaving Lane, Garona, and a small number of human soldiers to fight the orcs. Lane secretly orders Garona to kill him, bringing her honor among the orcs and putting her in a position of power to bring peace between the two races. Garona reluctantly does so and is welcomed into the horde by Gul'dan. As the orcs celebrate, Anduin arrives to retrieve King Lane's body and discovers Garona's knife in the body, realizing that it was she who had killed their king. Blackhand challenges Anduin to Mac Gora, and Anduin, angry that he killed his son, quickly disposes of him. Against Gul'dan's demands, the orcs, bound by tradition, allow Anduin to depart with Lane's body. At Lane's funeral in Stormwind, the leaders of the other human nations, along with the High Elves and Dwarves, proclaim an alliance against the orcs and rally behind Anduin as the leader of the Alliance forces and the basket containing goal is found by a human. If you enjoyed this video, please do well to like, drop a comment on what movies recaps you want next, and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new contents. Thanks, and see you in the next video.